Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zita and on my channel I share with you DIYs and makeovers on a budget. And don't forget to follow me over on my socials at Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Etsy. So let's get started on today's DIYs. I picked this print up from the Habitat for Humanity and you've probably seen me use these in some other projects if you've been watching my videos and I picked these up for a couple of bucks and they're great signs to you know create new projects with so first I'm removing the back uh, the little sawtooth nail hanger there you don't really need it with this kind of frame with the big with the deep uh, back on it so first to cover up that print I painted it uh, black I gave it a couple of coats and then once the black was dry I gave it a couple of coats of chalk paint may have been two or three coats but I'm gonna be decoupaging this piece so once the chalk paint was dry, I uh, found this beautiful um, rice paper and I'm going to decoupage this on the sign. Now I've just recently started um, using the iron-on decoupage method and I absolutely love it. But I hadn't tried it at the point of, at, that I made these. I made these this past summer. And I made eight of these good <laughs> and one for myself and uh, um, the others for my sibling and my mom. And this is in memory of my dad who's uh, been passed away for almost 30 years now. And I thought this would be a great uh, gift that uh, all of us could bring out every Christmas to remember my dad and I remember him every day but I thought this would be a great um, memoriam to him so um, friends if you're looking to give a gift to a family this is an awesome gift it has our family name on there and then on the license plate section I've put my dad's name so I um, apply my Mod Podge and I start from the center and work my way out and then I smooth it out with a disposable shower cap that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and that has a really smooth plastic and you've heard me say this over and over but for any new viewers watching I want them to know but you can also use a you know thin plastic bag or some saran wrap to smooth it out so once that uh, layer of Mod Podge is dry I'm taking some sandpaper and sanding the sides off and uh, before I apply my uh, top coat. Now you can do this after you apply your top coat as well. And if you don't have a sanding block, you can use a fine um, nail file and that works really well as well. So I'm kind of just going up and down and across a little bit and it, you'll see here that it comes off real easy. And, and I keep these scrap pieces and uh, use them for another project if needed because there's trees on those so they may work for some other projects I do in the future. So here friends I'm uh, using my top coat now and I'm using the polyvine wood varnish here uh, because this dries in a flat finish and this is what they all look like aren't they beautiful i made eight of them and here is what they look like let me know in the comments what you think of this one and if you would make this for one of your family members in memory of someone who is not with you anymore and all of my family has received these and they absolutely love them so i was so happy to hear that Thank you. 
For this next DIY, I picked up this little frame from the Dollar Tree and it has some metal XOX in there. So I'm assuming that it was maybe a craft for Valentine's Day or something, or maybe it was stuck on there and came off. Uh, so I took that off and yeah, so maybe there was a piece of glue there that I took off it. But anyway, it worked well for a little Christmas sign that I'm going to make. So I'm uh, putting my homemade chalk paint on the uh, black portion and uh, that was kind of shiny. So I was thinking maybe I should have put like a, a Fusion Ultra Grip on there so the paint would stick easier. But I put a couple of coats on there and it was fine um, if I had to put a couple of coats because I was putting a napkin on there anyway. So these napkins I picked up from, I'm not sure if these are from the dollar store or maybe from Walmart, maybe, I think maybe they might be from Walmart. Um, and I cut the, it down to fit inside there and I'm really sorry about my head getting in the way uh, quite a bit in this these shots here guys. So. Um, so I'm just cutting down the napkin and making it fit inside and then I'm going to um, apply some Mod Podge and uh, let that dry and then I'm going to uh, apply that little uh, wreath there that you see on the side with the deer on it and that is from the Dollar Tree. So uh, if you want to pick up one for yourself. That's where I got that. And so here I'm applying my Mob Hodge and um, going to fit that in. And there's my head again. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I guess I didn't realize my camera was so far out. <laughs> I usually watch out for that kind of stuff, but I guess I was just chew into making that craft and was not worried about the video. <laughs> uh, anyway, so while I'm getting that done, let's talk about if you've subscribed yet. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. It's free, no cost to you, and you can also hit the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you when I post new videos. I have lots of awesome ones coming up. So the Mod Podge has dried and I'm putting my top layer on here. And now I'm using my um, craft knife here to cut it. And a little piece came off there. So I just tacked that on again with some Mod Podge. And uh, there's my head again. <laughs> now I'm applying some glue around this wreath with the deer. And then I'm just going to stick that inside. And uh, now I'm going to dress up that deer a little more. I think he needed a little bit more. His face was looking a little blank there, I thought. And I thought I'd put some of these red uh, berries from this um, garland that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So I just snipped a couple pieces off there and put that on his neck. There was also like a little red bell looking thing on his neck already, but I thought it needed something else. And I'm putting some glue on his nose and I'm putting a little foam red ball there for his red nose. So I guess this is Rudolph. And I don't know about you friends, but I don't like things without eyes. I just never have my whole life. I don't like figurines without eyes. I don't like anything without eyes. And a lot of times I will paint eyes on it. I just think it gives it more of a soul when it has eyes on there. And as you can see there, I uh, put that wreath in the wrong way. And so I took that backing off. So that's what it looked like before with the little black chalkboard. And this is what it looks like now, friends. What do you think of this cute little piece? Great shelf sitter or to put on your wall or to give as a gift or for resale. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one.
for this next DIY, I picked up this wood panel from the Dollarama and it was a couple of bucks there as you can see and first I gave it a couple of coats of white chalk paint and you've heard me say this many times if you haven't made homemade chalk paint before I'll put that video in my description box now I'm pulling out a napkin here from my binder of napkins so subscribe and you'll see a bunch of projects being made with all those napkins that I have and I will leave a 10% off coupon code in my description box. I got a lot of these from Ninny Napkins. Some I get from the dollar store as well or Walmart. But these ones are from Ninny Napkins. Remove all three plies of your uh, napkin. If you don't, it's going to bubble up and it's going to ruin your project. So make sure you get all those plies off. Sometimes they're two and sometimes they're three. These are three. So once that done, I'm using the iron-on method with this one and I'm applying a thick coat of Mod Podge. I'm going to let that dry overnight. You don't have to wait to overnight. You could probably let it dry for a few hours and try this iron-on process here. So I'm putting my thick coat on and uh, once that dry, I am going to iron on my beautiful fox napkin i absolutely love this napkin it's a fox in the winter time here he's got some snow on his face and almost couldn't give this one away <laughs> i i gave this to someone uh for a gift and uh but i had a hard time parting with this one it turned out so great and i just love the picture of that fox let me know in the comments what you think of this beautiful picture he has a, such a sweet, beautiful face. So here I'm putting parchment paper over the top of the napkin so you don't burn the napkin and the Mod Podge has dried. So what this iron heat in the iron is doing is uh, reactivating that glue and making the napkin stick and it comes out so beautifully smooth. Uh, and there's no... Uh, don't put your uh, iron on steam setting. So he, see how smooth that turned out. Now I'm using my uh, polyvine wood varnish and I'm using a very, very soft brush here. But this is one from the Dollar Tree and I think some of the hairs were coming off this one. But they kind of, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, kind of worked out well because they blended in well with the color of the fox. But otherwise it would of not looks good but a few pieces of hair came off that brush I don't think that was in the print of the napkin so here I'm mixing up some uh, my homemade chalk paint and some baking soda I'm not measuring anything out I'm just making a thick paste here I added some more paint in here as well to just thin it out a little bit more and I think I put a little bit more baking soda in after this but uh, I'm making a thick paste so I can put around uh, the frame, uh, around that napkin because, you know, it looks like I just stuck a napkin on a frame. And if the napkin was the size of the frame, that would be okay. I could just leave it like that. But I didn't want it to look like I just stuck the napkin into the frame and didn't finish it. So uh, around the uh napkin i'm going to create a beautiful border and you'll see how amazing this turns out and you're going to want to try this technique because it's so awesome so it's kind of looks like uh it's a snowy border and it really uh works out well for this print because it, i thought it really ties in nicely with the this uh, fox with the snow on his face and the border kind of turns out to look like snow so what I'm doing is applying this all around the frame now this did kind of start to <laughs> harden up quickly so I think if I was to do this again I would put a little bit more paint in it and less baking soda but it turned out amazing so I'm applying this all around the napkin, all around to the edge of the um, frame. And uh, once 
that is dry and I let it dry overnight and then I'm going to come in and um, give it a few coats of wax and some different colors so I uh, can match up the uh, beautiful face of that fox. So this is what it looks like. This is before it's dry and you'll see coming up here what it looks like again once it's dry. So it dried really hard. Now a little bit of that will brush off because it's you know it is uh, baking soda and paint so but doesn't it look like snow? So here I'm applying a, a clear coat of wax because I'm going to be applying some antiquing wax after this and what the clear coat does is you know gives you room to be able to wipe off some of the uh, antiquing wax if it's too dark and you'll see here that it does kind of turn out a little darker than I wanted it to look. So this uh, clear coat really gives you the room to remove some of that wax. So if you have a project and you don't want to put too much dark wax on there, put a clear coat on first and this will help you out with that. It will be, allow you to remove some of the dark wax if you want. So um, once I put this antiquing wax on, I thought it was a little too dark. I'm dabbing some off here, but I still thought it was too dark even after um, dabbing some of it off. Um, so what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to apply some white wax, which you'll see coming up here. And that really softens out the dark wax and uh, makes it almost a perfect color to match the the, the fox and like his red hair and then the brown on his neck. Isn't he beautiful? I just love him. I almost had a hard time giving this guy away. So I might have to make one of these for myself and maybe try this um, baking soda and paint technique again. So I'm applying that white wax all around here and then this beautiful piece is finished. Let me know what you think of this technique, guys. And I hope all of these um, projects today gave you guys inspiration to create something beautiful for yourself or to give it as a gift to your family members or friends or something you want to do for resale. Here to finish this piece out, I'm applying some antiquing wax along the sides so it doesn't look like a stark wax. So let me know in the comments what you think of all of these projects today and which one was your favorite. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for sharing some of your time with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.